Welcome back, everybody. This is Understanding Comics, Chapter 3, Blood in the Gutter. This video is going to be a little bit shorter because I think this chapter is uh, more straight a straightforward. And also, uh, there's two videos to make, so I want to make sure we get to the next one. So, the main idea of this chapter is closure, or the idea that humans fill in the blank between gaps. And these gaps could be a variety of things, uh, including the aspects of life, and as I said here, think of someone moving an object behind their back, uh, objects per object permanence um, that toddlers don't yet have. Um, I have a baby at home, and she can't quite you know understand that when there's a pencil behind my back, that pencil still exists. Uh, we also have scenes in a movie, as I was explaining in the class the other day. You know, when you have two scenes in a, in a sitcom, um, you splice them together in your head, but in fact, those scenes could actually be shot very different times um, with even different people in it. And then finally, in the context of our uh, class here, the panels in a tier or the page in a comic. And here are the examples that Scott McCloud uses. So he's always wondered, you know, does the world exist when you don't see it? Um, and he's sort of playing on this idea of if you're ever a kid, you know, things you don't see, do they still exist? Are we in some sort of giant simulation? Uh, and then he also has this idea where um, he keeps uh, going back to this panel where this person sort of is getting like axe murdered or whatnot, and they just you don't see it. Um, you just see aye. Oops. You just see aye. And sort of that is known as closure, and gutters help to create closure. And so that's the main idea. And I did a little playful thing here where the word closure was here, but I covered it up. I'm trying to be clever. I don't know if I am. Let me know. Uh, and then there are six different ways that closure can happen. Uh, and this is the panel from the comic book, but he says moment to moment, action to action, subject to subject, scene to scene, aspect to aspect, and non sequitur. So we are gonna go over uh, the six forms of closure primarily in class. I hope you enjoyed chapter three. I tried keeping this uh, video nice and short. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll uh, watch the next one in chapter four.